Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Pocket 1. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to renew your sway bar. Now, if your sway bar is severely bent, I'd say you should probably replace it because a sway bar is basically like a really super stiff spring. So if it's bent, it's probably damaged and, and it's not going to work as well. This is a sway bar I got out of a junkyard. So it has a little bit of rust on it. But if your bar was totally rusty, this video will still apply. So we're going to be painting this sway bar with this Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer. So if I put two coats of this, this should be sealed and this will convert the surface rust into a paintable surface. Or you could just put a second coat of this on and that's what I'm going to do. And it's going to make this a nice matte black and it's going to make sure the rust stops and doesn't spread. We're also going to be painting the side mounts here that you can see are just starting to rust. So we'll take that too and make sure that this sway bar is good to go for another long, long time. First you're going to want to scrub off all the surface rust with some sort of metal wire brush, either by hand or with a drill like this. Make sure you wear goggles because otherwise these things will fly into your eyes because they do come off as you're sanding. Next, after you've sanded all the surface rust, you're going to wipe it down with either alcohol, uh, dish soap and water, or I'm just going to use some wax and grease remover. Finally, the last thing you need to do is spray paint it following the directions on the back of your bottle. Alrighty, 20 minutes later and this stuff is dry. Mounting plate came out really good. Sway bar came out really good. It's nice and clean, nice and smooth. And most importantly, the rust has stopped. Alrighty, so now that we got this sway bar all nice and painted, and we got all the rust gone and it's all under control, now we'd move on to servicing the bushings. Now the bushings on the mount, the ones that mount to your axle, these ones are the two ones that typically, typically go bad very quickly, and these are the ones that usually need to be replaced. In my case, these ones are still good. So let's move on to the last part, which is replacing the end links. We're going to be replacing these old, old, worn out, bent, crusty, rusty, and totally burned out end links with some brand new ones. As I said, you really can't really fix these once the rubber is bad. It's just bad, and in my case, the end link itself, it, it, the end link is just, this is just totaled. So I had to go ahead and replace this, and now we have a nice new one. One thing I would say is you could put silicone on this, or maybe you could use this stuff that I found called uh, AT205, which is supposed to revive the rubber. So maybe if your end link or your bushings aren't cracked, and they're still in good shape, but maybe the rubber is just a little hard, you can maybe spray it with some AT205 and see if that'll work. Usually it works pretty good, but on some rubber that stuff doesn't work, in which case you would just have to replace it like you normally would. So guys, that's how you renew your sway bar. I showed you how to replace the bushings, the end links, and how to paint your sway bar. Once you're done with that, your sway bar should be rust free and ready to go back in your car. Thanks for watching guys. If this was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If it wasn't, give it a thumbs down. I'll see you next time. Bye.